What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, bringing you some Rocket League ranked 1 versus 1 solo duel games. As you can see, I have a skill rating of 100, which is what you start at. So I haven't actually played any ranked solo duel games. I have played quite a bit of just unranked duel games and feel like I have a mediocre grasp of it. So let's see how everything goes here. So I have my, my pirate themed car here. I have my nice little skull antenna topper and a pirate hat that looks like I've been stabbed a few times and some gold wheels because pirates. Because pirates. All right, Ignatios 30. I'm coming for you, bud. Let's see. Let's see how they are. They are semi-pro as well. Excellent. We are like level 18 or something. I don't even know. There we go. I couldn't see if... Oh. Oh, so it's gonna be like that, is it? That's alright. I'll just kinda go pink. Oop. That was so bad on my part. Well, this series is off to a great start. This guy doesn't look like he knows what he's doing either. So let's grab this. Oh, or let's just miss it like an idiot. That's alright. And we'll just kinda clear this out a bit. Pop it over top. You know what? If you want to put it right in front of your goal for me, that would be fantastic. So, alright. I think how this is going to work is I'm going to do two games per episode. Each game is five minutes long, which means that it's really about seven minutes long after you take into consideration... Oop, that was bad. After... Oh, he's going to hit that. After you do all the, the ball cams and searching for stuff and waiting for people to get in the game and all sorts of good stuff there so ooh, i am flying through the air like i just don't care all right well let's let's grab this really quick oh that was a weird angle all right sometimes it's okay to just kind of go for the person instead of the ball it seems to work out so, that way sometimes Oh, okay. That should set us up nicely here. Oh! What a save! What a save! That was very nice, Ignatio. I have to commend you for that one. Alright. Let's get a little uh, forward momentum going here. Let that kind of do its thing. Oh, no, he's going to clear it. I, I, I feel like I'm a little bit too passive on that kind of stuff sometimes. But you know what? That's all right. It worked out in the end. It worked out in the end. We'll do our little flip of, of glory there. Excellent. Excellent. So 1v1 is almost a completely different game than the whole other game. Because, I mean, other than the wall which I consider to kind of be your second player, um, it's just you. So if you think about it, destruction meta is actually pretty powerful because you take out their entire team. That was a nice... If I had more boost, that would have worked out better. But let's just kind of get back here. We'll grab that one as well. You know what? If you want us to clear it, I am okay with that. I am absolutely fine with that, actually. Let's do that. Oh. And self centering centering the ball for yourself is uh is kind of a lost art. Oh. Let's yeah, let's actually kind of there we go. Alright. Because you want to be able to center it so you can hit it, and at the same time, so that um there we go. So that they can't just kind of clear it out like that. So as you can see, if we use that 45 degree angle part off of the wall there, they'll just kind of clear it. So, all right. Let's, let's grab this. I think we're okay to grab this and kind of... There we go. That's not going to go in. We hit it just, just off of the right angle that we needed there. So that is all right. Oh, he's going to hit that. And another thing, front flips to get your speed going is really nice. So. Oh. 
Oh, no, let's let him touch that. There we go. Oh, that is not where we want it, though. Cool, excellent. So you kind of have to play both defense and offense. Oh, get in there. All right, excellent. Obviously, because you don't have anyone else on your team. So I find that in the beginning when I was learning how to play 1v1, what I was doing wrong was basically staying too long on their side and then they would get, oh shoot. That's probably a goal. That's a goal. Nice shot, man, nice shot. All right, so that's what I meant. Like if you stay too long on your side there like that, I just landed at a bad angle, then they'll get kind of a breakaway and they will get a goal off of it. So is this guy moving? Yes, he is, he's coming towards us. All right. And then also, kickoff is extremely, extremely important as you saw demonstrated there. If you get a good kickoff, usually it's a goal. And there are certain things that you can do to make sure that you get a goal off the kickoff. Like, oh, we're just gonna let that ride on top of us. I kind of feel bad about that one, actually, because we got two of those in a row. So, for instance, if they don't go for the ball, you can just smash it right into their net, basically. All right, that's probably about good so that we can grab some boost. We're gonna let him touch this because we're gonna stay kind of back on defense a little bit. There's no reason for us to, to really go for any more goals here, honestly. There we go. Oh. But we can. Kind of head back and defend a little bit here. There we go. And... Oh, what a save. What a save. There we go. And if you notice, it doesn't end until, pink it hits the ground. But we won, so that's super exciting. Uh, and we unlocked Thermal Yellow. Thermal Yellow, which is kind of cool. I have a, the data one. Uh, oops. Well, apparently we wanted to save the replay for that. Uh, apparently that was what we wanted to do. All right, so let's exit, this, exit the main menu, because I want to see how many points we got for that. So let's see. Um... We are still at 100. We should have got points for that. Did it put it in our doubles? I don't think so. Well, we should have gotten points for that. Uh, but, oh, anyways, let's let's keep going, I guess. We'll keep going here. I just noticed that my van doesn't have any stuff on the side or flames or anything. It's kind of like a creeper van. You know what would be awesome for the Merc? Is to be able to spray paint free candy on the side. Just so you can be that guy. You know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. So if this guy goes for it, which he did, then you want to front flip, and then if you can front flip over him again, then you can get a nice little scorey score and be ahead six seconds into the game. So we just got lucky. He landed on his back, which allowed us to do that. So, oh, we're playing against Rocky Balboa. You know, I didn't think that Rocky was a big, you know, car soccer player. I thought he was more into, uh, into, oh, is that, nope, not good enough. Okay, he, he got a good hit on it. Oh, uh, what's that called? I can't think of what that's called right now. Oh, that is not good. Oh, that was a good shot, man. Nice shot. For some reason, I have a hard time doing sideways hits. So as you can see, we were waiting here for it, and I went to hit it. I was trying to go to the side, and it went forward. I don't know why, but for some reason with this controller, I'm having a hard time with it. But I'll learn. So, um, not wrestling. What's what I'm looking at? Boxing. I thought Rocky was more into, you know, like boxing or something. Oh, he's going to smash that. And we are going to just kind of take it this way. And as you can see there, you can kind of... There we go. All right. Excellent. That's what I wanted. We'll grab this boost wall right here as well. 
There we go. Oh, you know what? That might be going in. And, oh, so close. Nope. All right, I should I should have taken a different angle on that. Oh no! All right, that was a good shot, but he hit the crossbar. You know, would have been a better shot if it went in, I suppose. Oh, that was a good good block there, though. So this guy obviously is a little bit better than the first guy that we played. He kind of, I have a feeling, knows what he's doing a little bit more. We'll clear that. We'll take that. And we'll, we'll try and kind of center it for ourselves here. If I could, nope, not going to work. All right. So I like to front flip to get back. And now we are on the defense because he's got possession. Although he's trying to bait me into... And you know what? That might have just worked out in my favor, too. I thought he was trying to bait me into hitting it so he could kind of hit it around me and get around me. I've seen people do that before. So, also, I don't really watch replays unless it's something really awesome. You know? Now, the one thing that I'm not comfortable doing in this game, especially with 1v1s, is flying yet. I'll do it occasionally if I'm ahead by a lot, but it's really quite risky and if you if you miss it, then you'll be ahead or you'll be up in the air and they'll have, you know, time to do stuff. So All right. So that gets it in his little corner of the world here. I'm actually going to kind of hit hit back. And that's... Okay. See, I, I stayed too long in his area. He's going to kind of do a little flipperoo here. And we are going to, since he is out of it... Oh, he, he destroyed us. See, destruction metal is actually quite useful in this game mode. Because it eliminates your entire enemy team. Right? Oh, so now we got to get back. We can't let him get in front of us with the ball. Oh, that was a nice shot. That was a nice shot. I meant to say nice shot, not I got it. All right, so we're ahead by, by one. Now, if he'll let me do it, is he going to come at me? Yes, he is. So we want to front flip. And see, that is a perfect reason why you front flip at the beginning because what you do when you front flip at the end is you basically put the bottom or actually it's the top of your car rather um so that he can't hit it over you so because that is super powerful if they get it around you on the kickoff you know most of the time you are just done and he's gonna go for a little hit on me there which is fine oh Okay, he, he deserves that one. He deserves that one. That was just bad play on my part. I'm getting... I'm not very good at my dribbling meta there. So, it's something I need to work on. That's for sure. We still have a minute 18. Still anybody's game right now. Let's grab this boost. All right. Oh, no. Get down. Get down. Get down. All right. One minute remaining. So, if we can score, we score. Otherwise, we kind of just want to play a little bit more defensively now since we are ahead. We are only ahead by one, though. So. Get that out of there. All right, cool. So another cool thing, you probably saw it there, is when your wheels turn purple, when your wheels turn purple, that means you can stop boosting because you're already going as fast as you can go. That. See, now, if he scores on me because I was trying to fly there, 
then that will be horrible. Just get it out. Yes. All right. So we won both of our games. I want to see if we got points for that one. And we got a sexy fire helmet there, Topper, for our car. So, excellent. Uh, let's exit to the main menu there. But those were both really good games. The second one was a lot closer. I just want to see really quickly. Uh, we are still only ranked skill level 100, and I don't know why. So I'm going to check on that. Uh, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be putting out more of these 1v1s. I might find some people do 2v2s. I know Fox wanted to, and Red Raptor Gaming wanted to, and then maybe Gamer Dad, um, when he gets his computer set up for his move, we'll do some as well. But for now, I'm having a lot of fun doing the 1v1s, and I hope you guys are having a lot of fun watching as well. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.